This is the Juin CX100, and this right here is a 100 watt light. So as you can see, it is pretty small for a 100 watt light. And just for comparison's sake, I have a camera right here and a deck of cards. And right away you can see that compared to these two objects on the sides, it's not much different. So it's the same as the width, as you can see, it's the same. Dang, that noise is so annoying. So there's been construction going all over around this estate uh, above our house and below us. We're pretty much sandwiched between people renovating their houses. So if the noise is bothering you, I apologize, but yeah, let's just get on with the video. So like what I said in the beginning, this is a 100 watt light and for its size and what it can do, it's pretty amazing. But then again, this is not Juwin's first 100 watt light. They already released the Molus X100 before. So this is basically something like a step down from that without compromising the output. But then the only difference is the build quality of this and other stuff. But first of all, let's talk about the build quality. So this one is a little bit more stripped down compared to the X100, but it does not compromise in the output, okay? So just because this is cheaper than the X100 doesn't mean this is gonna be less bright because these are both, or that one and this one is are both X100 lights, which means they are 100 watt lights. So I can't stress enough how much this thing has completely changed the lighting game for me. So as a filmmaker and photographer here in Hong Kong, I find myself solo shooting most of the time because my wife and I run a photography and videography business, right? So unless my wife is free to help me shoot on that day, I pretty much fly solo. I have to carry all the gear by myself. So anything that I can bring that is not heavy helps my back a lot. So collectively, I prefer to travel light whenever I do have to film solo. So because of the stripped down build quality of the CX100 compared to the X100, which I don't have right now, this one, is built a lot more cheaply, but in a good way, hear me out. Because this one uses less metal and is mostly made out of plastic, you can be assured that it's gonna be lightweight as well. It doesn't mean that it's gonna uh, compromise the quality, right? Um, it's still gonna be as bright as the X100, it's just gonna be more cheap looking and a lot more lightweight. So I like actually lightweight. I don't care about the build quality of some lights. As long as it's lightweight and I can carry it around with me, I'm happy. I'm going to be a happy camper at the end of the day because I'm not going to hesitate to bring this light whenever I do have to go on a shoot. So let's talk about the 100 watt output really quick. When I say 100 watts, this thing is really 100 watts. I'm really blown away by the output that this light can do because I used to bring along with me like heavy 300 watt lights, those COB lights from Aperture or Viltrox, they are very heavy. And sometimes whenever I do shoot, I don't really use the full output of a 300 watt light. Most of the time I'm around 50% or less. So this one I think is a perfect happy medium for me because first of all, this does not have the detachable battery like the X100 has, right? So all I need to power this thing is a USB-C type power bank which can output 100 watts or a 100 watt USB-C power brick. You can just plug it in, you can directly charge this. All you need to do is just buy a USB-C cable that is long enough to support the distance from you and the outlet and you'll be good to go. Because whenever you use heavy lights, usually the power adapters that they come with or the power systems are a lot bulkier than the lights themselves. And I know this for a fact because I own a lot of heavy COB lights that are about 200 watts and above. The power systems of those or the the powering modules for the lights are quite massive. And this one, all you need is the light itself, your USB-C cable or the power bank or the power brick. So the accessories that this thing comes with are very basic. So as you can see, it's very plain, plain James, right? It's very plain James. At the same time, it comes with a reflector dish that is attaches via the X mount of Ji Yun. It looks like a camera now that you can just hold like this. At the same time, it comes with a milk diffuser. So this one basically attaches to the front of this dome, this uh, reflector dome, and it kind of softens the light. Let me show you what it will be at when it is at just 1%. So if I were to rotate the dial ever so slightly, this is what I get. So it is pretty bright, right? And this is what it will look like at 100%.
As you can see, it is super bright. So using this is very basic. There is just a knob to control the brightness and the knob to control the color temperature. So if I were to switch it on like this, and I put it on 1% like that, I can just adjust the color temperature just by rotating the knob on top. So one cool thing about this light is because this thing is a very compact light, right? You don't have to use an actual light stand. So you can grab something like maybe a Joby 3K Pro, remove the head, and then you can mount it on the screws below it. And now you have a very small light that outputs 100 watts. Most of the time, whenever you're in this situation where you mount a little light on top of a travel tripod like a Joby 3K, it's gonna be a very low output light. Like we, we've all been there. We've been using those small lights, like maybe this one, right? This is the VGM VL120. I used to use this light a lot whenever I travel because it's just so small and it outputs a decent amount of light. But then having a light that can fit inside your backpack like this, is just a game changer because now your whole filming kit or your photography kit can be a lot smaller than it used to be. So one more important thing that Jiyun sells separately, I think, is the Bowens mount to X mount adapter. So this is it right here. This allows you to attach Bowens mount accessories onto your light. So this is based off of an X mount. This is not a Bowens mount. This is Juin's native mount system. So if you want to mount a Bowens mount style softbox. So if you want to use your Bowens mount uh, softboxes on your CX100, you can do that by installing this adapter, which installs very fast and quickly and now it turns it into a more mountable light, which is one of the good things about this. You can easily attach the light onto a light stand like this, just by attaching it like how you would with any normal light. And now you have a light that looks like this. Now you can grab any softbox that you have and now you can just install it onto the light, just like that. Now you have a very compact light that can fit into your bag. All you need to do is just carry the softbox around and you have a very compact light setup. Ah, I swear to God, if they don't stop, I'm gonna lose it. Having the adapter in your kit is, I think, crucial because this gives you the ability to mount this CX100 to any Bowens mount accessories that you may already have. So one more thing I love about the CX100 is that although it is cheaper, it is made with simplicity in mind because all you need to worry about now is the power button, the brightness level, and the color temperature, and it's that easy. The only downside I think is that because this is a lot more simple to use, there is no app control for it. So you're gonna have to go full analog and control this the old fashioned way by just rotating these knobs. So let's talk about my conclusion for the CX100. So this light is not only I think geared towards hobbyists because of the lower price tag, because a lot of you who are looking to buy this light probably don't have much of a budget to start with because you wanna save that money to buy lenses and stuff. So this one, is a little bit more budget friendly than the X100 Molus by Juin. But at the same time, this can also be used by professionals because for me, who shoots professionally photography and videography here in Hong Kong, sometimes I just don't want to bring heavy stuff with me, like what I said, back pain and all. This one, there's a higher chance that I will bring this with me whenever I do shoot. And it's just small and it outputs 100 watts. What more can I ask for, right? So I've been using this for a few months. So far, so good. It has not bugged down on me. The only disadvantage that I found with it is that you really have to use a 100 watt power bank or a 100 watt power brick to power this light at full capacity. I tried plugging in a lower watt power bank onto it. It cuts the power by about 60%, which is still good, right? Because we're not gonna be using it at 100 watts of power most of the time anyway, right? Because based on my experience with using this light, I've never shot past 50% or 60% of its power. I've always just either been on 50% or lower because it's already strong, especially if you put the reflector dish, it amplifies the light brightness by a bit. So yeah, this was just a quick video of myself talking about the CX100 by Juin. This is a fantastic light for both photographers and videographers who are maybe beginners or professionals. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.